thank you all for coming. See, for me, Virapan is a subject matter which has been uh, haunting me since a very long time. I first heard about Virapan somewhere in the late 90s, 97, 98, when I was uh, shooting for a film somewhere in the jungles of Madhumalai. So the fact that one person, just with a few men, can be operating from inside a forest and uh, making the governments of two states completely go haywire in an effort to capture him fascinated me. Because without the backing of any major uh, terror organization or a, or a rebel state or with great funds and resources or without any political patronage, though the conspiracy theories could be there, but I do not believe that they exist. They actually were there in reality of supporting him. So I thought the uniqueness of a character like that uh, was, not, was not there in the entire crime history of the world, I would think, because I can't see a parallel to Virapan. So for a long time, I, I didn't, I wasn't clear about which aspect of Virapan I should take to catch the spirit of the person. And at a certain time, I mean, because it's like a Mahabharat, uh, the, from the time he started to the time he ended. And then I happened to meet some people who were involved in the operation of uh, killing Virapan. So it is the details, something I overheard, something I discussed with them, finally sparked off my interest in to tell the story of Virapan through the point of view of the people who were somewhere involved in uh, capturing him or killing him eventually. So when people ask me this question, how real is a film, I would say, see, like, a, when you... The kind of people I met is uh, some of the people who worked with Virapan a long time before, who mediated between the government and uh, Virapan on certain specific uh, cases and incidents. And uh, officers who were involved in his operations at various stages, his uh, own wife, and, and primarily these will be the sources. But obviously they will have their own versions, they will have their own interpretations because uh, things changed from time and from my memories and all sort of personal experiences. So to sift through that entire material and connect the dots in the most uh, understandable format is what I attempted. And uh, so what you're going to see in the film is that final version of what uh, I call the truth as I know it. But even the people who were involved in parts with Virapan, when they saw the whole film, they couldn't uh, challenge me that this is not what uh, it happened. Yeah, that's, that's a thing to the credit of the research team and the overall way the screenplay has been uh, structured. Thank you.